AT&T reveals the cost behind Thursday's massive cellular outage for thousands of Americans as footage of angry customers harassing workers goes viral. Uh, yes, so uh, yes, there were some flares yesterday. Um, yes, uh, the, the cell phone did go out, but it turned out it was just a botched system update. That's what it was. And um, I, I would I would add that the I'll tell you this. I, what I saw that was interesting was when when the Internet went out, there was a literal army of people going around saying flares, flares, flares. Those are propagandists for China. OK, they're trying to cover up that China would ever engage in any uh, uh, international espionage. They want you to believe that it's something you can't control. Oh, it's from the sun, right? Let me ask you guys something. OK, if it were from the sun, why did it just impact the United States? Huh? Eh? The reason why is because AT&T is a US only com company and it was a botched system update. Okay, not to do with solar flares. If we fill solar flares, more than the United States would get impacted by it. Okay. So yes, AT&T says that they have identified the cause of the shocking outage for over 73,000 Americans. <laughs> way more than that, man. It's way more than 73,000. It was like, like about 70,000 for every 15 minutes we're reporting the outage. It was bad. People were on the stores harassing the employees. Hey, I can't use my cell phone. They're so mad. I feel so bad for these employees, man. It's like, it's not their fault. Look, he's he's standing there like, I don't know. I don't, I can't, nothing I can do about it. He's correct. Nothing he can do about it. And you guys, when you're pissed off, don't be pissed off at the people at the ground level. Okay. They are just worker bees. They do not control all the stuff at top. Um, yeah, it sucks, guys. Oh, and the ma managers hide, right? Customer service uh, phone numbers get shut down whenever things like this happen. Oh, my lights are stuck. So yeah, uh, uh, they done walked at and down. Buddy just works there. Yeah, I mean, that, that sucks. I feel bad for the guy, but, um, you know. Oh. Okay, anyways. Uh, another at t post shows an at t worker getting blasted by a livid customer over the service interruption, causing the worker to flip out in response. Uh, the customer says, I can't even get a message or a phone cut out, call out. The worker says, but sir, what do you want me to do? What the hell? What the hell, man? Uh, sir, we're having an outage. Do you know what an outage is? Customer says, I know what an outage is. Worker says, so what the F you want me to do? I don't know what to, what the F to do to tell you. Y'all stressing me out. I ain't done not. I ain't done get paid enough. That's true. Look at that. Uh, that sucks, man. I feel bad for this guy. Customers are the worst people on the planet, man. I swear they're so entitled. Let's watch this real quick. No, it's just not because it's a lot of profanity. I feel bad for you though, man. That sucks. I've worked in customer service. The customers are the absolute worst people on the planet. Not all of them, but a lot of them, right? AT&T, I'll tell you this, uh, in, in Poland is the opposite. The employees are the worst people on the planet. You can't get anything out of them. It's, it's, it's Customer service is not a thing in Poland, okay? Maybe if you're in a touristy areas, they train you to be like that, but they hate it. They hate when you ask for shit. They hate when you ask for anything. Oh, crap, man. Anyways, so that's going on out there. It turned out to be just a botch system update. It wasn't a cyber attack. It was not a, a solar flare. If it is a solar flare, it's going to be multiple countries. I'll tell you this. If it keeps being solar flares in the United States and only the United States over and over, it is not a solar flare. OK, it is. They're going after us. How many how many um uh, oil pipelines have been disrupted? How many how many things have been hacked already in this in this country? And it's just us. It's nobody else not happening to anybody else you know what well, happens to iran too because they're at war right remember we uh their nuclear systems got hacked yeah probably probably the cia mm -hmm. yeah so anyways next story the world economic forum predicted major cybersecurity event in the near future remember that remember that they even had a you know how they had event 201 just before the pandemic started yeah they did something similar to that but for cybersecurity. Yeah, they also, by the way, last year did another practice pandemic that originated in Brazil and it, it, it harms kids, targets kids. And uh, last I checked, was it a few months ago? Uh, there was something going on, going around and it started from Pandaland. And it did get to here because I believe uh, Amanda, all, all of Amanda's kids were sick. Uh, everyone's kids were sick uh, and the adults were sick, too. But it, uh, what I'm saying is that it targets kids, meaning that uh, Rona didn't impact kids very much at all. It hit adults. 
but this one actually you know you go to school you're spreading it around on all your classmates and everyone's getting sick you know so uh and today a nationwide cell phone outage says uh oh this is yesterday's article oh and by the way obama's dark netflix special involved weaponizing cyber attacks Ooh, yeah uh, tens of thousands of cell phone users have experienced outages. The outages reportedly began around 4 a.m. Eastern. Uh, four carriers, but uh, AT&T uh, had the most, the biggest problem. So, you know, I you know what I wonder? I wonder if there was a cyber attack and an AT&T had their little update issue. Their, their, their software update issue on top of it. And that's why AT&T got such a big hit. AT&T, was, they were getting like 70,000 uh, complaints in, in every 15 minutes. Everyone else was only a couple thousand every 15 minutes. The most significant number of issues, though, was reported by AT&T users, which is spiked at 30, that's not 70, a spike, no, a spike, this is, this is an absolutely article. It spiked at 71,000 in uh, every 15 minutes. The incident immediately had users wondering if this was a massive coordinated cyber attack on American communication systems. Um, a ZNO reminded readers that the, the WAF in January of 2023, how ge geopolitically instability? What? What are you writing, guy? Reminded readers that the World Economic Forum in January of 2023, how geopolitically instability, geopolitical instability is increasing the risk of catastrophic cyber attacks. This is a jacked up sentence, man. Colin Lineberger, oh, Jim Hoff, good lord. <laughs> Anyways. The WEC made a prediction of a major... The WEF! What is wrong with you today? The WEC... I'm like, what's the WEC? The World Electronics Communications Commission or something? What an awful art. What an awful read. Anyways, we don't need to read the article. You guys get what I'm saying. Uh, every time they every time they have a drill or a simulation for something... Yeah. Every time they have a drill or a simulation for something... Uh, that's what it is. Uh, this is see, look, look at look at Arthur. He says, "Oh, it's probably a solar event, right?" I literally just got done talking about how the, uh, it, I literally just got done explaining that it was because of a botched system update, and and if it was a solar event, it wouldn't be just the United States. It would be more than just the United States, but because AT T is a U.S. only carrier, at least for this particular uh, network, um, yeah. It's it's not a solar event, but you, but you see these uh these Chinese agents come in here and they're like oh probably just a solar event, yeah. By the way, there were three yesterday. There were three major solar flares, the, and the biggest one was in the afternoon. Explain to me why that didn't hit other countries. Why didn't that hit Australia? Why didn't that? I mean, the the Earth turns right. If we had one in the middle of the night, bam, it hit us, which is weird, right? Because we'd be on this side of the of the planet. Solar flare comes out hits us while we're on this side of the planet. Uh, and then it's daytime right here. It, it Earth turns afternoon. Bam, we have another one even more powerful. There were three yesterday, guys. Okay, Another one even more powerful. And then all of a sudden, uh, the, oh, it doesn't affect their networks. It only affects our networks. Pharmacies across the U.S. reported widespread outage. Yeah, this is yesterday, guys. They're saying it's a cyber attack. We're finding out that the incident out of uh, the, all the stuff that happened with um, AT&T was actually a, a failed update. They're trying to update their network, their, their coding. And uh, that's what caused the crash in AT&T yesterday. That's why it happened in the middle of the night because you update in the middle of the night, right? You don't do it while freaking everyone's awake and using your network. So uh, they botched the code is what it was. Uh, anyways, uh, Change Healthcare, a prominent healthcare technology company based in the U.S. has fallen victim to a cyber attack, leading to widespread outages and delays in prescription processing at pharmacies nationwide. Owned by United Health Group, Change Healthcare is critical in the healthcare infrastructure, facilitating and processing of orders and payments for patients across the country. The cyber attack, which was first detected on the company's East Coast network early Wednesday, has caused enterprise-wide connectivity issues, severely disrupting the usual operations of local pharmacies. These delays in prescription processing are not just inconveniences. They represent a direct impact on patient care and access to necessary medications. Yes, what if you ran out of your crazy meds and you needed some? You're asked out, right? All because some people were misbehaving. 
uh, Change Healthcare, which merged with o Optum, a healthcare services giant in 2022, has been proactive in communicating about the incident. Yeah, this actually, so this, I believe, started with uh, someone was trying to breach their system to steal data. And uh, as a, a defense mechanism, they basically cut off, uh, they cut off their data centers from the internet so that it couldn't be stolen. So I don't know if any any data was actually stolen or not. 